Find out which state received $26 billion in stimulus funds to help deserving causes. The incredible news of how over a half a million Americans can get vital stimulus debt forgiveness. And the great news about a leading lawmaker still fighting for that four stimulus check and important disaster relief funds. And they're not alone, so they're in the fight still after this. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright, and it is hump day. We're over the hump, folks, so you, it's like halftime, and we're past it. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check, fourth stimulus check, fifth stimulus check, executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update. And you're like, what? Fifth? Yes, California and other states got a fifth, fourth, fifth stimulus check. So your state might be behind. This is Wednesday, October 6, 2020 update. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to access government and private wallets, money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So stay tuned to the channel for personal business, uh, real estate, stock market, crypto, credit, all the stuff that you need to generate income and save you lots of money right here on the channel. Also, win $2,000. All you gotta do, Join the channel by subscribing. It won't hurt, doesn't cost you anything, it's free. You even burn a couple calories when you press it. Like the video, smash it. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike twice to make sure you got it. And also, put a comment in there. When you put a comment, we're gonna pick a random comment when we hit 200,000 subscribers, which we're so close, you could help us get there. And we're gonna launch out $2,000 to a lucky winner when we hit 200,000 subscribers. So we're gonna pick a comment, that comment, could be yours. All you gotta do is say something, anything. You could even just put the number one or five or whatever you want. Some people just put con comment or random, you know, so it doesn't matter. Also, grab your Weeble stock, two stocks valued up to 2,300 bucks. And most importantly, don't miss out on my real estate program. A $10,000 course, yours for 99 bucks. You'll feel like you stole something. The first two videos are absolutely free. They cost you nothing to watch. And the program's $99, you can pay with a credit card or PayPal, however you wanna pay for it. It's safe to get it. And also you learn to buy, how to buy, when to buy market cycles, even how to evaluate your own house to see if you're overpaying or underpaying or what the deal is and how to get cheap money. One that you don't even have to use your own credit for. So make sure you check out the course. It's in the description, it's incredible. And thank you to my Patreons who support the channel for $3 a month, five articles a week, plus a look under the hood of my investments and a copy of my book. But first, yes, I got a book, in case you didn't know. The Origin of Opportunity, make sure you check it. It's in the description. But first, the great state of California recently announced that they will be providing $26 billion in stimulus disaster relief funds to help struggling schools across the Golden State. Unfortunately, the school district across California, they've been reported that they have not received a majority of their disaster relief funds. They're like, hey, where's the money? Where's the money? Where, where was that anyway? What, what show was that? With upward of three quarters of the money remaining unspent as of June 30th. We're like, what, uh, October? Yep, Greg Cagle. I guess the check's in the mail. A teacher at San Jose, which I've been there. I used to surf in Santa Cruz, California. That was incredible. Alum Rock. Unified School District states, quote, we need more labor support during our contracted hours to run the school more effectively, and we have not seen that in years. They have not applied, added teachers, aides, rotating teachers, or extra administrators, end quote. Hopefully these school districts can uh, use all of these important stimulus funds to help students and teachers across California, like 40 million people state, right? Lots of states are dealing with the same thing, and a lot of states have school money. Literally, it was in the, you know, package. Like, come on, folks. It, the biggest one, obviously, the biggest money is California. That's why we focus on it, you know, because it's a big number. 26 billion, but your state probably has like five or eight billion. So make sure you check with your state. The money will likely go back into the government's penny bank, and it'll be gone forever. It goes away, folks. You don't spend it, you lose it. If you're a politician, you know one thing. If your budget is a million dollars, you spend all million of it. If you spend a half a million, then next year's budget will be a half a million. And you just lost a half a million dollars. That's how they roll, folks. So tell your state, local governments that got free money from the federal government, spend it or you will replace them come voting time. Meanwhile, President Biden and his administration are looking to make major changes in the debt forgiveness for public service loans. Yep, 
helping over 550,000 Americans with the much needed fiscal support. The U.S. Department of Education announced earlier today the slew of major changes to the public service loan forgiveness program, which could bring more than 550,000 borrowers closer to being, you know, debt free. We all want to be free, right? Don't you want to be free? If you want to be free, put in the comments. You'll be entered to win $2,000 too, and maybe $2,000 to help you get freer. They also said that these changes, quote, will bring more than 550,000 people closer to loan forgiveness and make 22,000 borrowers immediately entitled to the cancellation. Yep, canceled, which is a good thing. You know, in a canceled culture, you never want to hear you canceled, but this, this is great cancellation, right? The U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel Cordon, and no, not the coin, explained, quote, borrowers who devoted a decade of their lives to public service should be able to rely on the promise of public service loan forgiveness. The system has not delivered on the promise to date, but that is about to change, end quote. You know, thank goodness, right? Now, promise not broken. And you think about Social Security and all you guys, especially on this channel, that promises have been broken to y'all. And the fact that they keep talking about that it won't be there. How can they have that conversation in government? How do you have a conversation where openly you have politicians that say, yep, there won't be money in the future? Well, why, why did people pay into it? We trusted the government with the money. Well, well, where'd it go? This is great news, though, for over a half a million Americans, and hopefully these debt forgiveness stimulus funds can help get you or your loved ones out of debt and on a path to financial future. If you've packed that brain with education, maybe you can set it free and buy stuff in the community. I'd rather you, pay, you buy stuff than pay the government money that they can make. Anyway, they can create. Finally, it looks like leading lawmakers in Washington are continuing to fight to provide millions of Americans with a four stimulus check to help weather this rest of the 2021 storm. Representative Joyce Beatty outlined the previous three rounds of stimulus checks saying that they, quote, helped reduce food insecurity by 40%, helping reduce financial instability by 45%, and help reduce reported adverse mental health symptoms by 20%. You think about it, it's like they barely gave away any money. This changes that many people's lives? Really? And they blow this money like, like nothing. Like that's a dinner for these folks. I've seen them spend 10 grand on a dinner and people get two grand basically and it makes that much of a difference? Whoa, think about that for a second, just pause. Wow. 21 senators also signed a letter, that's almost half the Senate, to uh, President Biden, actually that's a uh, 25, 21% uh, of the Senate, sorry, my bad. President Biden to support the reoccurring stimulus payments, which would offer millions of Americans with a forced stimulus check, that $1,400 for the duration of the pandemic, which, you know, we're still in to some degree, right? We still got the Delta, still got masks, still got weird stuff all over the country, according to AS, AS, that's a... Uh, 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 online media source. Quote, with federal unemployment benefits ending and slow job growth reported in August, more stimulus may be in need to keep the recovery moving. End quote. I sure hope these lawmakers can, you know, hear the cries of economists and people that are actually doing the surveys, doing the work to educate the leaders of our country to say, hey folks, this is the reality. Jobs are not picking up. They are where they are. Disruption in businesses are what they are. We still got problems there, folks. Entrepreneurs, a lot of them drove right off the cliff, right? Some of them drove off the cliff and got PPP money on the way down, but still went down. So we have a lot of problems in this country, which is cool because this is the best country to have problems because we know how to fix them. We just get up, dust off, and go to work. But we need the money to be able to do that as the disaster relief funds would be a good, much needed, good source for Americans across the country that are still in need of fiscal support for the next 20 months of craziness. And the idea that so little goes so far, like literally to change the insecurity of food and financial stability just with a couple of grand? Good Lord, Washington, wake up, smell the coffee. Put a little cream in it if you like that. That's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Wednesday hump day. Now you're over the hump. 
Now we're on our way to the rest of the week. So this is October 20, 21st. I hope you have a good one. Thank you so much for watching and for making it to the end of the credits. Here's all the people that were part of the production. Yes. Leave a comment with your favorite scary movie as we get closer to Halloween. Um, it, it, what is your scariest movie? I would say mine is probably, uh, what was it on Elm Street? Uh, the, the guy, Freddy Krueger. Um, God, Nightmare on Elm Street. That was scary because every night you got to go to bed. And uh, that's just kind of creepy that you, you like lose control of your thoughts in a way when you go to sleep. And then you have this weird dude with like knife hands, you know, like, yeah, it's just just a little creepy. So and the, the one before that, when I was a childhood, uh, one that scared me was the hills have eyes. There is a scene in that movie. I don't want to say because it's so creepy so weird to me that it's affected me my entire life, this one scene in the movie. Just thinking about it just scared the death out of me because it was just so, so creepy. And it literally has affected me ever since. So sometimes you just can't take what you see back, especially when you're like seven years old. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. Maybe you shouldn't show a seven-year-old a scary movie. Mm. I'm not judging. At any rate, love you. Take care. You know, I've worked my I, I will die for my audience. I don't want to be someone that they, they feel they can't touch. People will call you out. Oh, all day. Yeah. They call me out all day. I can type in the search bar in Google, Raider, and then, uh, uh, Raiders! Raiders! Let's go.